My name is Roger Oakland. It is an honor to be asked to share a short word of tribute at this memorial for my good friend Carol, also a ministry colleague for a number of years. I first met Carol at a Bible prophecy conference in Oklahoma City. She was seated next to me at a table and had with her a copy of her own testimony book, Gods of the New Age. She gave me that book. I went back to my room that night and read most of the book. And I was amazed by her story, her journey, which so paralleled my own life. Carol was brought up in India and exposed to Eastern religion as a young girl. Later in life, she was saved by the grace of God and became a world-renowned expert in the cults and the New Age. This was at a time when few understood what was actually going on. Carol could see how our present generation was being seduced by Satan's lie, the idea that man could be God based on Eastern mysticism. She was a visionary that understood the Bible prophecy and that the Bible forewarned as a coming one world religion, Christian Babylonianism. Her calling in life was to sound the alarm as a spokesperson like the men and women God chose in Old Testament times. While I grew up in Canada, my study of biology and Darwinian evolution provided the background that helped me to understand why Carol's perspective on life from her Eastern religious background was so significant. When we met, we both realized that God had divinely put our lives together for a reason. Over the years, we partnered together on several projects. We co-authored a book called The Evolution Conspiracy. She helped me to write the first edition of my own testimony book called Let There Be Light. I also worked with her on several documentary films dealing with apostasy in the church. Carol was known as one of the world's premier female experts in confronting spiritual deception on numerous fronts. Her heart was to warn the world of Satan's deception and Satan's plan for our day. Later in ministry, Carol saw the need to warn the church about the last day's apostasy that was spreading around the world. She was known all over the world by her books and articles that she wrote in the countless video and movie documentaries she produced. Carol's ministry will continue to be timeless. She impacted countless numbers in the past and will continue to do so in the future. She will be remembered for her kind, loving, and gracious manner, but also for her bold, tenacious, and uncompromising style as she shared the gospel of Jesus Christ. Her contribution to the body of Christ as a female apologist is second to none. I know that I speak on behalf of the many who now feel a deep loss since Carol passed from this world to be with her Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. While she suffered bravely to the end, her suffering is over now. Carol Matriciana will go down in the annals of Christian history as one of God's mighty warriors. I thank God that I was allowed to meet her on the road of life. I share these thoughts with a sincere heart and a loving brother in Christ.